Every company has their roots. And I think when you think about why is Ernie Ball here? Well, Ernie Ball is here because of an opportunity that was created with rock and roll. It's so easy to look back and be proud on, on our roots because they're, it's authentic for, for music and rock and roll. And my, my dad having the opportunity to beta test the Stingray with Leo Fender, when you think about Music Man's roots, not many people on earth had the opportunity to learn from a guy like Leo and work with a guy like Leo. And, you know, when I see pictures of, of that bass being made and you see like the actual electric tape that's around the, the, um, the pickup, it's so cool. Every year at NAMM, or every, every year throughout the year, we try to do things to innovate and improve our whole product line. And uh, this year, what we decided we want to do is make some improvements to the Stingray. The, the main goal was to make the improvements, but still retain the DNA and the identity of the Stingray. Like, it's got to look the same, but we wanted to improve the tonality of it. We wanted to improve the playability. Small changes that add up to something, to something greater than all the smaller parts. You know, it's, it's always a dangerous um, path to take when you change something that's successful. But if you look at the history of Ernie Ball and who we are as a family, we've never really been content with the status quo. We always want to push it forward. And I think what you're going to see with the 2018 Stingray, we didn't take anything that was really authentic with the Stingray out of it. If anything, we kept it in. If you look at the Stingray over the years, it's evolved a lot since 19 whether it's the, the five or six bolt neck or whether it's the, the compensated nut or the truss rod. There, there's been so much that's changed with that base that really what we wanted to do is try to make the base lighter weight. We wanted to take some weight out of the body. Um, we wanted to take um, what was already a great preamp and a great pickup, but could we improve it? Could we make it sound more powerful? Could we make it sound and fit with more genres. I think what, what we wanted to do, our goal was to, to make the tone of the Stingray more full across the whole spectrum and maybe add a little bit more depth and bass to, to the overall sound of, across all the strings. Um, we wanted the D and G string to be just as forceful as, as the E and the D. And that, that, was, that was one major thing. Um, there's other things that, that we wanted to do, like make the strings go directly over the pull pieces because the original design, they don't go directly over. Um, we, we put our new Music Man tuning machines on it, which save almost a pound off the bass on average. And also along with that, we have an aluminum bridge now, which is the same bridge as our modern classic basses. So the, the total overall hardware on the bass, we've actually been able to reduce over a pound, pound and a half. We added a fret, so it's now 22 frets. And along with that, we made it a five bolt um, neck joint, so it's got the playability of it's way better. So instead of a you know a rectangular shape, you go down to a, into a nice you know smooth rounded thing to the 22nd fret. We're really proud of, of, of the accomplishments we made with with the Stinger, and we're really excited to show everyone because I think everyone's initial response is going to be, well, you shouldn't have done that, or why would you do that, or you know I'm sure it's not going to sound good, but. We're, we're so happy when we get a chance to put it in an artist's hands or put it in your guys' hands, sounds, and we can see the, the smile on your guys' face when, when you plug it in, when you can A-B it between the, the current Stingray, the 2017 one, and the 2018 one, and you can feel and hear the actual improvements that, that we made into the bass. That, that's really what that gets us going.